Group physical exams are very meaningful for our research. Although it is a certain, it, cer it is for a certain age group, we can examine many of the Hinamizawa residents at the same time. It is a perfect cover for our research center. Also, because of connections, we are able to perform autopsies on the villagers. Uh, that's fucked up. It's a perfect environment. This f wait, did I? For people who work in the medical field, yeah, I forgot that part. The follow-up research of the late Dr. Takano is going smoothly. The amount of research data compiled by him is absolutely astounding. It reminds me how great of a researcher he was. Excuse me, Director. Oh, Takano. We just received the rest of the test results from Tokyo. Here they are. Thank you. It's getting interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad we can share this joy. Takano is my assistant, who was sent from the Self-Defense Force. Yeah, fuck her. She's not worth it. She really is not, or is not worth it. But she is far from the image I have of a Self-Defense Force officer. Just like our research is, can is concealed, maybe our identity is concealed too. I'm sure her name is an alias as well. Actually, technically, she gave it to herself, yes. I'm just a doctor and a researcher. Without talking to support, it's impossible for me to imagine manage this institution. She is a pipeline to her clients in Tokyo, my assistant, as well as a researcher who is in the expert of Hinamizawa syndrome. Her existence is absolutely necessary. The more I think about it, the more I feel I feel this should be have been the Takano institution rather than the Irei institution, and she should have been the director. Probably, but she's crazy as shit, and I wouldn't want her running jack shit. Because, uh huh. But that was explained to me when they asked me to take this position. My client wanted a civil civilian to manage this place. They started for a per they searched for a person who met the requirements, and now and there I was. I became the director. I had a fee I have a feeling now I'm just a puppet on the stand. I don't ha just sit here and do nothing. I was asked to research the asked to research about a rare disease. I am a researcher. I am excited about it. I'm not sure what my clients went out of this one out of this research, but I have the desire to enhance my quest for knowledge in order to become one of the first people to unravel the mysteries of the human body. We have all these data to prove the existence of a parasite as the cause of the Hinamizawa syndrome. And we still can't find the factual evidence of the cul culprit microbe itself. That's true. I thought we could easily find it if we used an electron microscope. Viruses were too small to see with a regular mi microscope. Yes. And electron microscopes are gi fucking gigantic. Jesus Christ. So the invention of the electron microscope was a dramatic advancement in the world of medicine. However, it's very expensive and there's no way for a normal doctor to own it. No shit. And like the amount of care is required to keep it like safe and everything. Oh god, it's so expensive and so important. The late Dr. Takano said an electron microscope can cause can find the cause of the disease, but it seems his theory has been proven wrong. <laughs> we need it even more. Need stronger. Even Takano was hoping an electron microscope would find the cause. She was disappointed when she couldn't find anything from all the autopsies she performed. Fuck. Our research seems to, uh, to be having its first snag. It has actually stalled the research for several weeks now. So we need to think about where to go from here. So maybe the viruses are microscopic. Or there, maybe there is something wrong with the specimen itself. What do you mean? For example, as you know, wild mice have tons of fleas on them. But you can't find fleas with dead mice. On dead mice. That's because when a dead mouse, when a mouse dies, the flea's habitat dies as well. 
So if the host dies, the parasite's world ends too. That's right. Just like you don't find a human, a living human in a post-apocalyptic world. Therefore, we just have we just have to look into the earth before it ends, right? <laughs> That's true. However, there's something called human rights. Oh, yeah. It's hard to look into it while it's still alive. Oh, my God. The sheer fact that they're just normalizing. God, it's so fucking weak. I just can't get behind just opening up people's brains and like, oh, look, there's a virus. Because what if they don't find anything? It's like, uh, oops. Yeah, we just fucking opened this guy's skull and root around his brain for a while. Couldn't find anything. To examine a living human's brain, it holds a heavy meeting even in close discussion. From a medical standpoint, it's nece necessary, but we have our rules and morals in this world. We have to advance medicine within such boundaries. I remember the time when I was studying psychosurgery for the better of mankind. I don't think I was wrong. However, would the concept of morals forgive me? I don't know. One day, the judgment will be handed down by the devil. Whether I'm guilty or not guilty, I have to accept it. As I reflect upon my past, I hear the voice. The voice. It's Takano's voice. Oh, well, God, don't get all dramatic on him. It's very clear and simple. Yet it strikes me with surprise. Okay. Let me prepare a world before its death. What? I'm startled. Yeah, that's kind of fucking weird. <laughs> Sometimes advancement of medicine requires one to hear a devil's whisper of a sacrifice. I heard the devil's whisper. No shit, she is. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's not that difficult. I just had to find a Hinamizawa resident who was about to die, that's all. That's fucked up. But even if he's about to die, who will be brave enough to provide, provide his body for research while he's still alive? Don't worry about that. He is dying anyway. We're just going to put him to sleep a little sooner. On paper, of course. <laughs> Good God. What a fucking monster. The patient will be legally declared dead, even though he's still alive. Oh my God. You fucking animal. And we are going to perform an autopsy while he's still alive. That's, that's impossible. Besides, even if we perform neurological surgery, we have to do a circular incision on the cranial area. The family will see the marks for sure. That's where we come in. I'll have the mountain hounds look for a patient that matches the description in the city immediately. All you have to do is wait with a knife and a fork in your hands. I'll bring your meal right away. <laughs> Good God. Uh, 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 uh. Takano Mio is my partner. There's no question about that. I just can't trust her. It's her extreme, extreme, extremist, extremities, extremities as a researcher, which contrasts largely with mine. Whatever. But how are that we different? I'm here for simply waiting. I'm here simply waiting with a knife and a fork in my hands, just as she told me to. I just don't want to witness the gruesome scene, that's all. What she's preparing now is exactly what I want. What a hypocrite. Not her. It's me. How can I say I'm different, knowing what I've done in the past? I perform psychosurgery without a patient's consent, despite it being a surgery that may affect his life forever. How is that different from her? I have never doubted my past achievements. However, when I look at her, I start to feel uneasiness. To be fair, knowing that he did psychosurgery without someone's consent, it really jades my opinion of Ira. It really does. I I don't like him as a character that much, knowing that he did this to people. Takano is talking to Okanogi on the intercom in my office. I'm sure she's telling him to cover, come over so she... She can explain to him what she, we just discussed. 
I'm simply watching without stopping her. I begin to reflect on, uh, up on my past to remember why I chose to become a doctor. That's fucked. That's really fucked up. That's terrible. Okay, let's see if it got rid- oh, okay, no it doesn't. Okay. So basically what I'm gonna do first is go through all the character stuff and then weed it down slowly but surely. The forecast said there was a chance of rain in the evening. So, okay, I get it. So instead of, there is no tips, because it's all just 50 fucking pieces. It, it's all in the tips. Everywhere. It's to give a complete closure on everything. I have a feeling. The forecast said there's a chance of rain in the evening. But I didn't think it would rain this hard. We wait for the rain clouds to clear in an abandoned bus stop. Sorry, Takano. Oh, don't be, Jiro. I knew it would pour, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Talking to giggles. Although she said the weather might change suddenly, I dragged her out here. I feel stupid for making her come along and end up ruining her precious day off. We have to go back to Tokyo tonight, so it will be a while before we can come back to Hinomisawa. That's why I didn't want to spend my last day at a cheap hotel in Okinomi and asked her to go for a stroll. Mm hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> She teases me like a cute devil. Until she fucking kills you. She's not trying to corner me for enjoyment. That's just her way of communicating, and I think it's very charming. Mmm. Mmm. Me and Tomitake have definitely different kinds of, uh, ways of people charming. What we find charming. I think I've become captivated by her. I haven't. Even before she was a psycho. Or at least when it was let it known that she was. Eh, yeah, still didn't see her vast appeal. I really didn't. But to her, I'm just an auditor from Tokyo. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. That's the reason why she's being so nice to me. It's definitely not because she likes me personally. Aww. Poor Tomitake. Aww. Oh, I feel bad for the son of a bitch. So if I think about that, I feel like I used my position to drag her out, and that makes me feel a little depressed. I probably should think this slut think this slight fever I have is due to nothing more than a cold. But she is the type of person who says no when she dislikes something. Of course she doesn't say it directly, but she uses various indirect means and methods to directly, distinctly say no. Goddamn passive-aggressive bullshit. Fuck off. So I want to believe she is spending time with me because she might have a little attraction towards me. Like, ah. Uh, I shake my head as I frown. I frown upon my selfish thoughts. She chuckles as if she knows what I'm thinking. My face bl blushes as her little action. At her little action. You're a mysterious person, Jiro. I bet women don't leave you alone, huh? So why are you hanging out with a weirdo like me? Oh my god. Fuck off. A weirdo? No way. You're so attractive talking about. Oh god. Actually, I feel bad to make you spend a day with someone like me. Oh, god damn it. Is it going to be just like a bunch of... No, I'm terrible. No, I'm terrible. You're amazing. No, I'm the terrible one. Oh, my god. Just a bunch of fucking bullshit. Of course, I've decided to devote my life to this important research. But life is too dry with just that. I need to switch gears once in a while. Besides, having communication with the opposite sex is great for the brain. <laughs> I'm more than happy to help you feel refreshed. Mm. Until I get fucking killed. Don't you feel refreshed being with me? She smiles at me like a cute devil and makes my heart pound. I try to hide my embarrassment so she won't notice my face blushing to the ears. Of course. When I'm with you, uh, you know, I feel refreshed. Besides, if you learn about avian photography, I gain a buddy to share my hobby with. Fuck off. So, next time I'll bring my old camera. It's really expensive to buy a new one, you know? Uh, 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 I'm, I'm poor as shit. Uh. Thank you. I would love to learn about avian photography. But you, that you're... That you're... you're no, fuck off. I would love to learn about avian photography that you're so intrigued about. Bye. 
I'm looking forward to joining you on a photo shooting uh, stroll next time. So I don't need to buy a camera. No, uh, try with my old camera first, and if you like it, then you can buy one for yourself. <laughs> you cheap motherfucker. Come oh, you can buy it on your own. What the fuck is that? Dude? You're supposed to offer to buy one for her if she enjoys it. Oh, come on. Man. I swear to God. I swear to God, Tamitake. Come on, man. I'll send it to you when I get back to Tokyo. Thank you. I'll ha then I'll have you criticize my pictures when you come next time. Sure. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see your pictures. <laughs> It'd be nothing compared to yours. It's my fir very first time, you know. I'm still blushing and scratching my head, and she's still her cool self as she smiles. Am I being self-confident? I can't help but thinking that Tome Takano likes being with me. If it was just utter social flatter, I don't think she would come along this far. I don't know, she's really trying to work to get a bigger budget. You, you People go pretty far for that shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Taking woman, women's utter social flatter seriously is the mistakes I, mistake I always make. I shouldn't misunderstand she is attracted to me. By the way, isn't this the first time for us to be alone like this? Uh, yeah, you're right. Usually the director or the research staff is around us. I don't know anything about you. I don't know exactly what you do in Tokyo or what you've done in the past. I wonder what you do in the, in the self-defense force. Ah, <laughs> that's classified. I was an instructor just for a while in the past. Ah, damn it, you could have sound cooler. Oh, that's classified information. I can't possibly let you know about that. But I injured my eye. Hey, you fucking dumbass. I can live life normally, but they made a big deal out of it, and ever since, all I do is desk work. <laughs> Don't make yourself sound like a little bitch in the self-defense force. Act like you're someone important. Lie. Lie to everyone. If you want... That's how it works. You just keep on lying. Takano giggles, saying I must have done something silly to cause the injury. And then I helped the public relations make their magazine. I became fascinated by photography. Cameras have the power to make people happy. <laughs> I bet you don't know what I'm talking about. But it is true. Since I started to take pictures, my life has been so happy. How can a camera make you happy? Well, a camera can take a snapshot of a piece of daily life. Of course you want to capture a moment that's filled with happiness, right? So you look for happiness through the viewfinder. And as you look, you realize your normal daily life is actually filled with happiness. For example, a dandelion sprouting from the crack of the asphalt. It's just a weed in a busy life. But when you look at it through the viewfinder, it's a gift to let you know that spring is approaching. No, fuck off. I don't want weeds growing through my fucking asphalt. Fuck off. It's annoying as shit to deal with. Screw off, Mr. Dandelion. You can grow in the fucking yard, for all I give a fuck. Do not grow in the asphalt. You capture it and put it in your an album. And every time you open the album, you remember the happy feeling you had when you took the picture. Yeah, I can't say I like taking pictures. I think it's just... Pointless. So, I mean, it's so time consuming. It's just, eh. Eh. I'm not a very artsy person, though. So, so you always feel that way when you take your pictures. Not always, because you can be in a depressed mood and take a depressing photo. Sure. I don't care if my pictures are artistic or if they are worth, worthy of any prizes. Because of me, re. re. re recognizing. A small happiness is what cre is great about cameras. So I'm so happy to be able to see Hinomizawa through the viewfinder. Hmm. I have a tendency to go overboard when I talk, but most of the time Takano playfully twists my words right back at me. So it's very unusual for her to listen to me like this. Takano sits down next to me and tries to fiddle with my camera. 
I don't know how much of an impression I gave to her, but I think she is indeed interested in cameras. I was expecting her to tease me as usual, as usual so I'm happy to see her reaction. Do you want to try? Do you think I can? No, I think you are physically unable to take a picture with a camera. It's easy. First, just learn how to focus and press the shutter. Why don't you hold it? Oh, don't ever touch the lens, though. Phew. This isn't easy. <laughs> okay, come on now. It's, it's not that hard. It's not fucking next level math science here. It's no, like, insane. You t went to the best college talk now. Fuck off. Don't even joke about that. Fuck off. Since you seem to show interest in, in cameras, I wanted to take a walk around Hinomizawa and take some natural photography. But unfortunately, the rain doesn't seem to stop. But she is still having fun and she keeps taking pictures inside of this small shack. So the first set of her pictures are pictures of odd things in and around this dark shack. Since then, every time we met again, we walk around this village with our cameras in our hands. Nothing like furthering the relationship as Takano still kills Tomitake in the end. <laughs> Poor bastard. God, this is fucking insane. Reminis- okay. Death of Koizumi is required. What? Prior consent for the collection of the cerebral f uh, spinal fluid is required. Oh, good. Can't wait to get that. Woo! The fat of wine is required. And the uh, solid required. A local explanatory. The street pieces. I want to see actually how much else is required. Uh, that's required. Forgive or send. Hojo Sato Cheater. Interesting. Red capsule is required. Oh, the red pill. Uh, then required, required. Strawberry milk can. Oh, God, I can't wait to get to that part. That's gonna be fun. Hojo Satsuko. Vacant lot. Change schools, required. The game word must be set up. Piece from the Watanagashi. No. Okay, so I don't even have a game board set up yet, so... That'll be a while. Oh, hey, there, there's the red capsule to talk about, Rena. So, that's interesting. God, this is... I never expected something like this to happen. So, Hanyu or Satoshi? Eh, let's go on you. So the dam construction will bring in a new jobs and revitalize the local industry. That's not what we are asking. Who the heck gave you permission to build a dam here? You squeeze tax money from us and this is what we get from you. Who do you think pays your salaries, huh? Look, we are trying to explain to you. We don't need you to hear your excuses. We want to know when you will stop the construction. You're useless. Bring the Minister of Construction here. I'll get to the bottom of it. Shut up, you yuppie, yuppie. Hey, you're paid with our tax money, so why the hell are you taking talking down to us from up there? Come down here and talk to us face to face. The auditorium is filled with angry shouting. The sign at the entrance says, Hinomizawa Dam Construction Local Explanatory, Explanatory Meeting. Every time the official tries to say something on the stage, the pack citizens shut him up with their shouting. Ignore him. Just keep talking. The official tries to ignore them and continues to explain the pros of the dam. However, that just makes the citizens even angrier. Eh, that's what I would do. Fuck. Mm. Between the stage and the citizens, there is an open area where the police squad stand by. If they weren't there, the citizens would jump on stage and start a riot. Burn it down! I watch from the back of the auditorium. It's obvious that they are swallowed by anger. They begin to be filled with bloody red rage. The anger that came from the certain purpose because it becomes a purpose in itself, and it creates a vicious cycle where anger leads to more anger. Anger is a necessary emotion. 
People face difficulties in their lives. No, it's true. Anger is very important. Anyone that says, oh, you don't need any anger or sadness or happiness in your life, it's wrong. You need all of your emotions to a certain extent. Anger is a motivating power to fight and conquer such difficulties. Therefore, anger is an essential part of life itself. So I don't deny anger. However, the over-the-top anger makes people forget their purpose. That is no longer an essential part of life. As the blood rushes through their head, a person can't even remember what he has done. That is obviously a reckless state. Such emotion and sadden and, and hurt us. I can clearly see the villagers who live with us becoming demons. I understand the rules of the human world. The power of an individual is no comparison to the power of the government. To be able to fight with the, lo to the, gov with the government, an individual needs a la larger unified power. But to steer that unified power in the right direction is extremely difficult. The cycle of anger leads to more anger. It's not anger to live, but it is anger to be angry. It's the same as being a demon. And this emotion awakens us roughly while we sleep peacefully. Everyone is immersed in their own anger. We live peacefully with the villagers while we sleep, sleep slept quietly. But now that we are awakened, it's almost like we are back in the times when the demons poured out from the Onagafuchi swamp. I shouted everyone to calm them down, but my voice doesn't reach anyone because of the vicious cycle of anger. But I keep shouting repeatedly, hoping that even one of them will hear my voice. Because the demons may awaken. The demons that went into a deep sleep may awaken because of the commotion. Then the atmosphere changes. When I look up, the angry exchange between the citizens and the stage is now a civil strife between the citizens themselves. What is going on? Shut up! Those are your reasons, not ours. Don't pull us into this, you old hag. Who the hell cares? The hell you say, you bastard? Hey, 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 hey. Do you know who you are talking to? You are talking to Oryu. You've got some nerve, huh? Who the hell do you think you are? Shut up, Sonazaki. So what? I'm Hojo. Get your goons away. Okay, maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe that's the real reason they don't like their family. <laughs> hey, Hojo. How dare you say that? You want the village to be submerged? How much did you get paid? Shut up, geezer. Listen well, there are plenty of poor people in Hinamizawa. Not everyone is rich and has fields like you do in the mountains. I was satisfied with the compensation from the government. They even offered to provide public housing for me. Yet you ruined everything, assholes. Don't pretend you're the same as us. If you want to fight with the government, why don't you fight by yourself? Then who's going to pay you? I'm poor and I have two kids at home. I was planning to start a new life by living here and play in a play in peace after getting compensation from the government and finding a job elsewhere. But you, since when did you represent me, huh? Do you think you are important or what? Hey, 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 Hojo. How dare you betray us? Then get out, get out of this village. Sure, I'll be happy to. But you're going to pay what I'm entitled to for, right? You're going to pay me every yen of the compensation I was get going to get from the government. Even if I want to leave the village, I don't have the money. If you're going to pay me, I'll leave right now. Hojo is right. There are residents who are willing to leave. The three families don't drag us into this. Hey, what the heck is this? Who just spoke? Come on, who did it? If you want to say, stay, then stay. We have a right to leave, you just so don't interfere. That's right. Get the hell out of here, old hag Sonozaki. Ah. Of course we'll compensate the people who support the damn construction plan. It's not an exploitation of land. Shut up, government dog. Are you trying to sp split the village? Die, Hojo. You don't deserve to breathe the village air. Hold your breath and die. Screw you, old hag. I'll kill you right now. Step up. Come on. Hey, move over, cop. Uh, very good. That was very good, Hojo. I haven't done that. I haven't been this pissed off for a while. For a long time. You'll get what you deserve. Look forward to it. Come on, Hojo. The government has to provide us new jobs, shelter, and compensation. Hey, hey. Stop this violence. All of you, stop it. Stop it. Oh, yeah? Show me what you've got. Everyone is tainted with red anger. I can only watch them. That would be rough. The least I can do is to apologize for the tragedy. That is about to happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is how things started. 
from this day onward, the Hojo family and the Senozaki family will wage a feud with each other, and the Hojo family will become isolated in the village. To be fair, he could have probably done a little bit better not to be a complete dick. Sure, like, the Hosono, you know, Oreo is not the best person. But, I mean, it's different than just saying, yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. Could have been a little more dignified in it. That marks the start of the Satoko and Satoshi's lives of tremendous hardship. Another one done. Now, time to go to Satoshi. God, I'm gonna spend like eight hours in a row doing this fuck. Thank God I didn't want any sleep tonight. Let's go.